Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and if you've loaded up your Sims game in the past few days, been on Twitter, or been on the EA bug report site, you will know that there are an awful lot of bugs and glitches in the game right now, and a lot of them are pretty game-breaking, so I wanted to talk about a fix for the age glitch that we are currently seeing. I'm sorry that I didn't make this video earlier, I honestly thought that we would get an emergency patch before the game came out for everyone yesterday. That didn't happen and so I'm making this video to make you all aware of the fact the fix that the Sims team, it's less of a fix and more of like, hey, here's a plaster to put on it until we actually do fix it and we have a new update. But it does stop your Sims from aging up straight away. The first thing is, if you haven't updated to the July 26th patch, the one that came out on Tuesday, do not do it. Don't let your game update, don't update it automatically, don't update it yourself, just don't do it. Wait for the emergency patch to come out. And so I wanted to show you how to turn off auto updates in case you haven't like logged on to Origin or updated. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on Origin up here in the top left corner. Then you're gonna go to application settings, scroll down to client update. So here you have automatic game updates, automatically update Origin, participate in Origin technical previews. I have all of these turned off, always have, literally always will. So if these are currently green, just turn it off. That means that your game can't update without you telling it to, hopefully. Anyway, as long as Origin doesn't glitch and start updating it automatically. And then fingers crossed, once we do eventually get an update on this, which I'm hoping for a hot fix like pretty soon, you're gonna wanna right click on your game and then actually hit update game. Mine is currently grayed out because I have the game open obviously but you can just update it once it actually drops. I will say if you want to find out about the latest updates, the latest bugs, the best way to do it is follow The Sims on Twitter. That's where they post most stuff when it comes to these kind of things. Simguru Nick is also a good person to follow if you are looking for people to follow on Twitter to keep you updated with this. Nick deals with all like glitches and bug reports and things like that. But what happens if you you've already updated and you are definitely affected by this aging glitch. Basically what it is, is if you're on short lifespan or long lifespan, your sims will just kind of auto age. Like whenever you come out of create a sim, they will age rapidly all of a sudden. So kind of all sims start dying around the same time. And definitely not fun if you enjoy playing in those life stages. But what you're gonna need to do is go to your options menu. As soon as you like load into a save, I'm fairly sure you can even do this from the main menu, like before you even log into a save. But go to game options, go to gameplay. And if you still want your Sims to age, make sure that your lifespan is set to normal. Normal is currently the only one that isn't affected. However, if you still don't want your Sims to age, set your lifespan to normal and then just turn off auto aging. But this still needs to be set to normal. So make sure you do it before turning off both of these options. Turning these off means that your Sims won't age up, but you still have to be in normal so that you're not affected by it. If you are loading up an old save, make sure you have those settings on. I would hate for you to lose like stories that you've been telling, sims that you've made, games that you've been playing for ages. The official sims account tweeted, we are currently investigating instances involving sims auto aging up in saves using the short or long lifespan. We recommend temporarily playing in or creating new saves with the default normal lifespan as we work towards a solution. What I would also recommend doing, and I recommend doing this literally before every update that we have in the game, anytime Time we get a new pack. I myself back up three very important folders from my Sims game and those are mods, they are saves, and they are tray. Tray is basically everything like the gallery. Saves are obviously all the games that you have started. Every save that you see on the home screen when you load up The Sims 4 is in this folder. And then also my mods folder because honestly I'd be lost without my mods and custom content. You can find them in your user, documents, electronic arts, The Sims 4. It's the same exact spot where you add your mods and custom content if you are a PC or Mac player. What you do is you copy these three and you can upload them to like an online cloud storage. For example, if you use like Google Drive, if you use Dropbox, it's always better to have it like 
off your PC, just in case anything also goes wrong with your PC. So online storage is a really good place. Hard drives, if you have an external memory stick, if you have an external hard drive, make sure that you are backing up these three. If you don't have access to like online storage or a hard drive, at least back up these onto your desktop. So all you have to do is really like copy and paste them onto your desktop, onto another file, maybe like in your documents folder or something like that. Make sure that you always have these three files available. But if you do have to remove any mods for any reason, for example, if your custom beds have stopped working in this update, you also have to remove your local thumb cache package from this exact same folder. Just scroll a little bit further down and you will find it. Make sure you delete that. That basically resets like the cache in your game to remember what you have and what you don't have. Big thank you to Kawhi Stacy who literally drilled this into me like every time I downloaded Slice of Life or something like that. If you did happen to update your game and you are still running into issues even without like your mods taken out or your mods updated, back up those three very important files and then you can right click on The Sims 4 and you can repair your game. Fingers crossed that this will iron out some of the issues that you've been running into but like I said the aging glitch people gaining celebrity levels even when they're not celebrities also there is currently a want where sims want to date their family member which is just no thank you very much they are looking to fix that but they're still gonna happen they are glitches it's just that if a save has like properly messed up for you and you've taken out your like mods and cc to test if the game then works make sure you are doing this step but make sure you back up all of those files before you do it so SimGuru Nick was the one who said, I wanted to acknowledge that the want to date a family member is something we know about. We've reproduced ourselves and we're working on it. We're looking to get it fixed ASAP. Thanks for all the bug reports. We appreciate it. We're of course going to be working on the aging bug too. So fingers crossed, like I said, an emergency patch can come for these two very, very quickly. There are also a ton of other glitches out there. Like I said, I know custom content beds are broken. Some CC creators have actually come up with fixes for that already. If you are getting the random celebrity bug, you can go to game options, you can go to pack settings, and you can say Sims begin opted out of fame. I actually had this glitch before this update. It was affecting my werewolves let's play, but it would pop up and then they would lose it. So it would kind of like reset itself. It actually didn't have any effect on my personal gameplay, but that's the thing about bugs. You never know how they're gonna affect you. I hope this video helped. Like I said, I'm sorry that I didn't make a video on this earlier. I basically wanted to answer all of the questions that people had about the high school years pack. I kind of wanted to get those videos done before people like spent their money on it. Also, like I said, I thought this would have a fix by now. Unfortunately, it hasn't. It's good to know that the Sims team are working on it. I mean, I would say that these are probably some of the most important ones, but like I said, there are a ton of bugs out there. The Sims community has a whole article on all the bugs that are like popping up in people's games. I will link that down below. I will also link the bug report for EA HQ. You can actually like post your saves to there. You can like thumbs up certain glitches and bugs if you are also seeing them in your game so the team know what they need to like focus on, where a lot of these things are coming from. You can give evidence of those bugs and glitches and hopefully we will have an official fix for these soon. I'll probably update over on my community page once we know what we're getting and when we are getting it. So thank you all so much for tuning in. If you have any questions about this, please do not hesitate to leave them down in the comments below. I will try and get back to as many of you as possible. Like I said, I haven't seen every bug or glitch that I know other people are struggling with. So I'm sorry if I can't help out. I would try and follow these steps to see if these do fix things. Make sure that your mods are updated. Make sure that if you do have any broken custom content or mods, take it out of your game. Then test again to see if that has an effect. Repair your game. 
back up your saves, tray folders, and mods and custom content because they are the three most important things and I don't want your games to be gone forever. Oh, and also really quickly, kind of an update on the last two videos that I've posted. Less of a glitch, more of a missed opportunity when it comes to high school years, but Zerbu, the incredible modder that they are, has literally saved my butt and I know has saved a ton of other people's games gameplays and ideas for high school years. So uh, the venue changes mod has been updated for high school years and Copperdale. This update lets you change the location of high school and auditorium so you don't only have to build one on the, those specific lots in Copperdale. And also in addition, it enables club gatherings. Thank goodness for that on those lot types. So that means that you can actually have get together clubs meet at both high schools and auditoriums. Modders are our savior right now and I'm so glad that this exists. Once again, big thank you to Zerbu. Go show your support, go download the mod if this is something that you've been looking for, spread the word about it. And once again, a really big thank you to the modders who are helping out on a lot of these situations and also the Answers HQ lot who are basically taking their time to like respond to people, troubleshoot these issues, passing them along and everyone working on the fixes. Just fingers crossed that we can get an emergency fix soon enough and I really really hope that your games are okay and that your sims are safe. I am sending all the good vibes. I love you all very much. Thank you to everyone who like asked for me to make this video. I appreciate you all an awful lot and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now!